up Whitey Nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Kingdom chapter 578. So last chapter of Kingdom we learned the truth about Ohan and man was it shocking. So it basically turns out that Ohan might not be um, Osun's son but even freaking Shin thought that um, Osun is being petty as fuck and that Ohan freaking deserves to be um, to be a general. And that's saying a lot coming from Shin. But um, yeah, we're also dealing with the a battle of attrition, so to speak, because we're running out of food. So anyway, let's get to chapter 578 and see what happens next. And it's starting out with my boy Ohan fighting motherfuckers. Look at him go. And there's shit. Look at him go. Yeah. Oh, this is awesome to see. Oh, this is going to be interesting to see if Jigaru and um, Gyun come out to fight. Right. Yeah. Look at shit go. Yeah, this is something I want to see. Um, as the sun sets on the 11th day of uh, Shukai Plains, um, the Kin armies find itself uh, lacking food, morale, and a commander. And chapter 578 is titled by tomorrow. Oh, fuck. This ain't good, fam. This ain't good. Oh, man. 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 Guess we'll call it here for today. Um, Honsama, yeah, that's it for today. Let's head back. Yes, sir. Garyu, ah, uh, Gyun? Uh, so it will be tomorrow then. Oh God, it's gonna happen! Mm, so it would seem. Uh, they have barely any food left to sustain them. Tomorrow will be their last chance to try anything before they begin to collapse upon themselves. And despite lo uh, losing a cow and now being at a complete loss of uh, what to do, Osin at their headquarters shows no sign of sending them any aid. So you're defying expectations by hitting them tomorrow when both the morale and stamina are having? Indeed. Oh, this is going to be awesome! It's going to happen! Oh my god, it's going to happen! Um, after all, uh, when hunger truly besets a man, it kindles an altogether different type of uh, fervor within him. We must wipe them out completely, or at least the majority of them, before that can occur. Do you really think the kin right wing will fold to us like that? No, they're not going to. I do, unless Osun finally sends them some form of assistance. I'm confident that uh, we will mercilessly crush um, these foes of ours. On the 11th night, the Akau army on the right wing would once again send uh, messengers to the center headquarters pleading for Osun to give them directions. We're from right wing. Uh, we bring a message for Osun-sama. A cow sama shows no signs of waking, and we're on our last ra uh, rations. We don't believe it's possible for us to handle this by ourselves. Uh, even if you uh, cannot spare uh, the men to aid us, if the young lord can, could be appointed commander, then our morale would at least... Uh, I understand. I'll pass it along to Osun sama But even this tearful appeal failed to elicit a response from Osun. Jesus Christ, Osun! You are being so fucking petty! God! Meanwhile, the right wing's grounds, um, the first of the final uh, two ration distributions was being carried out. A tiny dry portion which had only grown smaller and smaller with each passing day. Don't rush it. Make sure to cook it slowly. And yet there was not a single person who complained. Having realized that the stores were almost empty, the men who um, quietly lined up were content just to have, a, to su um, have something to eat that night. I swear to God. Osin, you are being petty as fuck. You are being so fucking petty. And as for Karyo Ten, the one in charge of uh, the High Shin Unit's logistics, she was currently agonizing over the fact that tomorrow night's distribution would be the last of any food they would see. And what twisted her face in anguish even more was that she was still unable to think of a plan that could lead them out of this predicament. Tomorrow it's our last shot. We have to do something because anything past that will be too late. But what am I supposed to do? We've reached a stage where I'm not even um, sure uh, strategy can even apply anymore. Perhaps we should send messengers to General Osun too. We have already uh, we have already several times. What's Shin gonna do? Ooh! Oh, 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 it's coming to talk to Shin. Oh, on. What do you want? 
if you're looking for ten, she uh, then she's in the tent. No, I can't talk to you. Give me some of your time. Oh my god. Huh? Why does I want to talk to Shin? This is gonna be interesting. Um, come to think of it, it's the first time we've talked with only the two of us. Well, what is it? If my predictions are correct, then even on this night, Commander Osin will still will still be, uh, refuses um, to send us any reinforcements or commands. Even now, Osin-sama uh, suspects that Hon-sama is not his child. Yeah, I think you're right. However, we only have um, food to last until tomorrow night. That will be the final distribution, which means that the Kin right wing has to defeat the Zao left wing within the next two days while also uh, missing its commander. Yeah, no shit. Of course we already know that. Um, sorry, of course we know that already. Why else do you think my strategist is pulling her hair out in, in her tent? This is no longer a situation that you can hope to solve through battlefield tactics. What? I'll grant you that um, the Headless Cow Army's performance has exceeded both the enemies and our expectations alike, but we cannot expect anything further from them. In which case, the only... In which case... The uh, ones who hold the key to defeating Zao's left wing will be the uh, Gyokoho and Haishin units. I agree! Ohan is completely right, especially since um, Osin's being a complete dick right now. Yeah, we, we know. That's why Ten's trying to figure something, a strategy as convenient as that does not exist. What? You know, Ohan's kind of right, because remem remember, Gyun is, um, <laughs> Gyun is an instincts kind of guy, so that's why. What we need now is not tactics or strategy. What we need to achieve by tomorrow is an awakening of the units! An awakening? But what do you mean? By making each and every one of your men evolve and reach new heights of strength, your entire unit will receive an instantaneous boost in strength compared to before. Huh? You make it sound so easy. Everyone would um, do it if we if it were that simple. Just get stronger, my ass. What kind of unrealistic crap do you think you're... And not only that, you want it done by tomorrow? That's right, because if we're unable to achieve that, our right wing shall be defeated tomorrow. What? If uh, we are going to um, receive neither reinforcements nor orders, if, if our only chance is to make do with what we have right now, then this is the only option we have. Our only victor our only chance of victory is to have both the uh, Gyokoho and Hai Shin units awaken to a level of strength surpassing our enemies in a single night. No other path is available to us. Or sorry, I fucking missed this part here. Uh, the Akau army that was meant um, to be our, our cor cornerstone can no longer uh, be relied upon. Our only chance of victory is to have both the Gyokoho and Haishin units um, awaken to our, a level of strength, surpassing our enemies in a single night. No other path is available to us. You say that, but how the hell are we supposed to awaken the men in just one night anyway? Our guys went through God knows how much training and drilling before reaching our current level and coming here. And now you want them to go a step further? And you want it done in only one night? How in the hell am I supposed to do that? Uh, oh, Han! How would I know? The high shin unit belongs to you, does it not? Oh, Han, you just hate! Listen, the only man who is capable of triggering the High Shin unit's awakening is you, their captain. This is your duty to fulfill. No matter what it uh, takes, make it happen before the, before the fighting begins tomorrow. And, um, and I'm trying to tell you now, it's goddamn impossible. Uh, wait, hang on a second, Oham. What about you then? How the hell are you planning to awaken the uh, Gyokoho unit? That's what I'll be worrying about now. It's got nothing to do with you. What? You heard me. Get it done by tomorrow. No, wait just a freaking minute, Ohan. Suddenly coming here and spouting some random crap like that. Have you completely lost the plot or something? <laughs> um, that night. Both Shin and Ohan would stay up late into the night, racking their brains on how to awaken their men. Alas, neither of them would manage to come up with any real ideas. However... On the twelfth day's morning, right before battle um, would be joined, both the Gyoko and I should get to be awakened! Oh my god! Oh my god, I cannot wait for next week's chapter! Oh, I cannot wait to see this shit next week! Oh my god! I can't wait to see this shit! Oh my god, this is gonna be 
awesome. And you know what? You know what's happening next week. You know, you know what better be happening next week. We're finally going to see. We're going to finally see Chigaru versus Ohan. And Gyan versus Shin. That shit better be happening next week. Oh, man. That shit better be happening next week. Woo! That shit better be happening next week. And you know how I think they awoke? Now that I'm really thinking about it, I think they awoke based, especially, um, with Shin. And I think with Ohan as well. I think it was based on instincts. I, I just, to me, that makes sense. Because with Shin, and to an extent with Ohan, but with Shin especially, because Shin is an instincts, uh, general, I, I feel like that's how... The High Shin unit probably had their awakening is with Shin's instincts. And I got a feeling that's the same thing with Ohan. It's got to be with instincts, man. Got to be with instincts. And, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, you got to wonder if this is why Osin was being a petty-ass motherfucker. This is why he wasn't giving them orders. It was because he wanted, um... Uh, Shin and, uh, and Ohan to awaken like this. I swear to God, if this is all going co according to Osin's plan, oh my God, if Osin is trolling us right now, oh my God, because I, oh my God, I think Osin is fucking trolling right now. I think this is all going according to Osin's plan. It has to be, because... I don't think, like, the more I'm thinking about it, Osin would not be this fucking petty. I don't think Osin would be this petty. I, I'm really curious what you guys think. I don't think Osin would be this petty as, th this petty. Even though he's an asshole, Osin is not that petty. I, to me, this makes sense. If Osin wanted both shit, because I, I think... What Osin wants, especially out of Ohan, is I don't think he wants Ohan to rely on the Akal army. And I think what he thought was that the Akal army would have been a crutch for Ohan. I think that is why. I That to me makes a little bit more sense. Oh, God. Osin, you son of a bitch! Oh, man, this chapter really clears this up. That, I think Osin is trolling. I think he trolled us all, man. Woo! I think he trolled us all. I think Osin didn't want... And it, and it makes a lot of sense. If uh, that Osin didn't want... And this is why he didn't give any orders. Is he wanted... Because he wants Ohan and Shin to come into their own. Similar to... with. Well, the thing is, is why Moten got his promotion right away. Um compared to, like, Ohan and Shin, is because Moten was controlling an entire unit all by himself, uh, or entire flank by himself, compared to Ohan and Shin. So that makes a little bit more sense. So I, I completely, I, 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 I understand how, how you're doing shit. I, I see what you're doing, Osin. This makes a lot more sense. Very curious what you guys think in regards to um, the inner workings of Osin's mind. Do you guys think that this that Osin's not being... Well, I still think a part of Osin is being petty as fuck. But, like, the other, the other part of me is just, like, this is just a test by Osin to, for Ohan and Shin to prove that they're ready for this. That they're a awakening. That they're ready to be strong-ass leaders. I'm, I'm ready for this. I, and also, I am so ready for this Chigaru Gyan fight. I am ready. I am ready for it. And I, I think o another reason why Osin did this is because he knew that um, Shin and Ohan were going to be fighting against uh, Chigaru and Gyan respectively. And um, he wanted them to be ready for this shit. I, I do. I am so ready for this shit. I'm ready next week. It's going to be so awesome. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to my channel expansion, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, from me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.